that the rights of immigrants are respected um, at a national level to our elected officials in Congress and the President, but uh, also locally. Um, and we are going to engage collectively in a um, extensive um, and demand an extensive investigation of our uh, of what happened yesterday uh, with the Los Angeles Police Department. And, and we are here uh, because we believe uh, that yesterday thousands of marchers, thousands of families were out in the streets of Los Angeles peacefully engaging in their um, legal, their constitutional right to assemble the petition for the um, That um, in the majority, every single member of the people who were part of our march um, were obeying instructions by the police and instructions by the government. Um, we also believe that, as we also know, um, that in any march that we've ever had, and we are um, organized hundreds upon hundreds of, of that action by this, we have worked a lot of different with the police in the past, and we have seen some of this particular event, um, that there will always be a lot of support. There will be people who enter the community and who um, are to
Uh, this is an example of the uh, project I was Institutional changes 
or strong changes in the policies of the department will be required to make sure that our communities are protected and not the victims of police behavior. Thank you very much. Por parte del movimiento sindical uh, que representamos 300 sindicatos, nos quedamos firmemente comprometidos a cambiar las leyes de inmigración en este país. Lo hacemos por, por el bien de los trabajadores inmigrantes, pero también por el bien de todos los trabajadores nacidos aquí. Estamos comprometidos a seguir esa lucha para cambiar las leyes. También estamos comprometidos a estar al lado de nuestros compañeros en esta coalición para ayudar en la investigación. El alcalde de Aragosa nos ha dado su uh, promesa de que va a haber una investigación justa. Pero nosotros creemos también que al participar en esta investigación, que queremos soluciones permanentes para que jamás esto suceda. Esto ha quedado, ha dejado Los Ángeles uh, en, en mala percepción en el país y creemos que esto nunca, nunca debe de volver a suceder. Gracias. that the lack of total disregard for public safety by the police started before the march. The fact that they uh, refused to give a permit to blow the streets in Vermont and to give us false promises is an indication that they were not serious about protecting the safety of, of our uh, community. The police were not prepared to ensure, not only were they not prepared to ensure the safety of the people, on the contrary, they were prepared to attack the people. We saw with our own eyes how the motorcycles of the police attacked the children, elderly people that were basically uh, caring for their, their, their children. And um, it is, it's a total disregard of the safety of our community. The behavior of the police is not acceptable. We demand answers. We demand a full investigation. We demand that the police commission, Chief Bratton, Mayor Antonio Villarregosa, and city council answers fully to the community and that they change the policies they sent the wrong message to the entire world that the city of Los Angeles has a repressive and, and a, a police force that totally disregards the safety of the community. That's unacceptable. Estamos denunciando el ataque de la de la de la policía contra nuestra comunidad. Empezó regresándose a dar el permiso desde antes enseñan una actitud que no estaban uh, comprometidos y de, de, de hecho estaban despreciando la seguridad pública de la comunidad. Queremos y demandamos una investigación exhaustiva, queremos uh, respuestas de eh, la comisión de policía, del de, uh, jefe de la policía, el, el alcalde y el consejo de la ciudad. Eh, no eh, es una vergüenza que la ciudad de Los Ángeles envíe estas imágenes a, al mundo entero de que tenemos una un, uh, policía que no eh, respeta eh, el, la, la seguridad pública de, la, de los angelinos. Esto no es aceptable y tiene que cambiar. Our next speaker is Marquise Harris-Dawson. He is with the Community Coalition. Hey, my name is Marquise Harris-Dawson. I'm the director of the Community Coalition in South Los Angeles. And as an organization of 4,000 members who are residents of South LA, we are proud to stand in solidarity with the immigrant rights movement here in Los Angeles and the labor movement. Stand up for justice uh, for all people who live and work in the United States, regardless of documentation status. Uh, a couple things about yesterday. One, uh, there's always the attempt to divide the African American community and the immigrant rights community uh, over 
is for the job. And at the Community Coalition, we make a, a strong point and our resolute and our notion that everybody who works in this country or lives in this country deserves to be treated like a human being and we're going to stand and fight with anybody who's down with that struggle. Second, second, we were very disappointed. 15 years and one day after the civil unrest here in Los Angeles, where this city burned because of Los Angeles Police Department's open disregard for human life and public safety, that we would see another demonstration uh, again uh, after we had spent so much time here in that process, that we would see the Los Angeles Police Department engage in such reckless disregard of human life and human safety uh, here in Los Angeles. Uh, personally, at the Community Coalition, we brought a couple dozen uh, young people, children, to the march so they can witness history here in their city. Uh, on the way out from the march, they were encouraged to run one direction by LAPD officers, where we ran directly into Los Angeles County Sheriff's uh, officers who were brandishing automatic weapons. And so, as you can imagine, young people still have not recovered from that psychologically. Uh, frankly, I'm having trouble recovering it from it uh, because we know what can happen when you have thousands of people running around, men with guns yelling at people and sirens so loud that you can't hear what they're saying anyway. And so we're extremely disappointed and we want to participate in any, in any investigation that happens. And uh, we call on our friend the mayor to move quickly and expeditiously, expeditiously on this matter because we expect to hit the streets again over immigrant rights, workers' rights, and every other injustice that we see uh, in our community. de esta manera y tampoco dejaremos que acciones como la de ayer empañen el histórico esfuerzo en favor de los derechos de los más pobres que empañen los esfuerzos por una reforma migratoria justa humana y comprensiva gracias My name is Father Richard Estrada. 
I am from Our Lady Queen of Angels Catholic Church in downtown Los Angeles, La Placita. What am I going to tell the 19,000 parishioners that come to my church on Sunday? What am I going to tell the children who already are traumatized by the gangs, by the police? What am I going to tell them? What kind of hope uh, do we have for them? So I want to invite Chief Bratton to my church. I know they're going to have a, an investigation. And we know that this is not going to happen again. But I think he needs to tell our people and assure us uh, the safety that we do have a right to assemble and to express ourselves. And we ask uh, children and people to get actively involved. And here we are asking our children, taking our children with us to be actively involved, to get involved in society. And this is what we get. This has to stop. So again, what are we going to tell our children and those 19,000 families that come to our church? So I ask, I invite Chief Bratton to our church. That concludes our uh, panel of speakers. I, I just want to tell you a couple of things. All of the mem all of the individuals behind us are organizations, are representatives of organizations that were participating or organizing yesterday's march. Many of them will also took their hands. Many of them will have to run out of that place.
about the Tenth and um, Seuss um, because there was, there was obviously something wrong. I saw with my own eyes um, women running with their children uh, when rubber bullets were going. Um, I was in the center because I realized that the people in the middle were not hearing um, either the stage or the worth recognizing. They were focused on the media tent. And I saw women and children there. They started from, um, shooting those rubber bullets. I covered a woman with um, two girls um, who was incredibly scared. And I saw, um, I just saw so many women and, and men picking up their kids, running out of there, um, not knowing what to do. And there was no warning. Why is the police saying that the meat was at the 6 o'clock and I asked the police chief last night? If the meat was at the 6 o'clock, how can you expect thousands of people to leave a big area to fix up their car? No. And then they say that there was no permit to be on the street? Okay, so the first one is that we had worked with the police. Um, this is for weeks and weeks and weeks, and they were very aware, and we marched on the sidewalk. We, this could be something that we worked out with them. Um, however, we felt that um, they were very um, uh, difficult, and in, 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 this is the most difficult process we have ever gone through. Um, but the permit, we had a full permit until 9 o'clock. I want to emphasize that. Um, this time we um, had, had that permit. We want to say is the organizers voluntarily shut down the program um, even before there was any kind of uh, communication from helicopters from the police uh, because we did not, we cared about the public safety of our community and tried and, and really believed um, that things were going to escalate even more. The permit was in the park only around the two miles Yes, and yes. yes. What, what sort of preparations did you all make? Um, we have done these uh, events many times. So we have trained security guards and security people, um, many of them who were wearing um, um, bands. In fact, many of our security were really from in the front line trying to um, both, I, I think it was mediate between the police and between uh, from the provocateurs. We um, have organizing meetings with security guards. We have an extensive amount of experience with this. Um, we, um, we had experience, um, security at stages uh, in, in the crowd. So certainly, I think that um, that is how we were able to get people out. How many security people did you face? Because I heard from organizers that you didn't get a permit to walk on the street. And you were expecting a lot more people, and so you were concerned that if you couldn't walk in the street, and you knew you could have people. So how many people did you have to help the police? Um, we had hundreds of uh, people who were actually you know, uh, I, Again, I don't want to go into details because I guess I come out from both sides, but we always uh, we always try to have at least one security for every 10 people. And the, the police know this, I know this over and over again with them. I go through the whole security plan. They, they, they would not be comfortable moving forward if they didn't feel our security plan was accurate. So I have to present this to them. They, they uh, were all okay with the security plan. They knew the protocol of who to contact if they saw something. They just didn't follow all the agreements. Why do you want to go to the because, because uh, there's investigations happening for both sides. There's also a uh, need for people to call us and uh, get, we got more information about what happened. But we do have a solid security plan. We have trained organizers that can deal with so many different issues. Um, and we are better able to deal with this. And the police, we go with this with them. They know the logistics. They know the logistics going to be launched. They did not indicate that there was anything they found uh, unsatisfactory or And we always make sure, especially this one, because this one, because of the denied permit, we had to be very solid uh, because we were watching the sidewalk and we were well trained for this kind of launch. Don't the launch. Is there security in the southeast side where the skirmish broke out? Or was it was the whole Yeah, we, we, had, uh, we had National Law Field Legal Service and Security that we sent there and they provided us all their witness statements. So just to, just to clarify though, first of all, why were you denied the permit? And then secondly, where were the security at this area where the We can go into detail of the factual uh, events, uh, what happened. So right now we got enough information and we're trying to investigate for all the purposes uh, to uh, make steps. So uh, I cannot go into detail, it's too much to do that now. But what I can tell you is that we were uh, well trained to have a, a, a really sizable, uh, really well trained security team to handle the launch and even uh, leading people into the 
for the frog. That's why we can come in. Not, not, 100, not everybody chooses to go to the virus, and some people choose to leave, and they go, and it's not against the law to leave after a march on the side. And I try to explain it to the police that we're not comfortable with that. And so, you know, I think, I think, I think they had, it, it was, I want to say it was not the same, that was not the same LAPD on the street that the group that was meeting with us all throughout this whole process. The Los Angeles Police uh, Commission, you need to talk about what they did that. They followed the police recommendation based on last year's intelligence, not on this year's uh, what they see in the movement. But did they explain to you why they denied you? What did they again, tell you? Again, uh, that's, they just followed the LAPD recommendation for denial. Right? That's you need to ask the police. We did have a comment. I just want to emphasize that the, the actual, what happened happened during the rally. We need to, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what we want to emphasize the everything that occurred happened during the rally. We had a peaceful march on the sidewalk with those working with the police along the route. That is not where we had the problem. We had a problem at the park park where we had